Hey guys, I'm back. So I told you I was going to make a video regarding my collection. This is current, you know, it's always changing, but um, this is what I have so far. But this is actually going to be a little bit of a buyer's guide. Um, so I've broken this up into different categories. So I'm gonna go through them one by one, but I wanted to show you the overall. Um, so all of these right here are free floating. All of these are um, kind of miscellaneous. These are also kind of like miscellaneous, almost like piston shape. Okay, um, these are sliders. These are multi fidget. These are multi fidgets right here. Um, nope, these are not. Okay, um, these are haptic coins. These are like the three tier um, sliders. We have the curved sliders here. Um, and then I have um, tracked sliders right here, spinners right here. And then I also have some uh, 3D printed, but I'm gonna have more stuff to come. But um, a couple of people have been requesting, you know, what's my favorite? You know, which ones to buy? You know, cause I have a lot of stuff here and not everybody can buy all this stuff. I mean, I've gone into debt, so do not do not be like me. Okay, so first, I wanted to talk about um, 3D printed. So, um, so 3D, um, what is it, 3DC, 3DC printings on Etsy, I have two different types. And then I also have haptic EDC. Um, so he, this guy's actually sending me more stuff. Right now, I only have the clicky version. This is the frag, which is a three tier, um, but he's gonna send me some more stuff. This I think is like 20 bucks. These are probably around the same. I think this is 15. Actually, I mean, it is decent. Let me hear that. You see the design on there? But he actually said that he's been working on getting stronger magnets in there, and uh, especially for the silent version, because the frag right here, um, it doesn't work very good for laddering, see? Um, whereas the haptic EDC one, you see here's the three levels. Um, check this out. Very nice. Um, I gave a lot of these haptic ones away to people um, to try because they're so good. So here's another one. I'm not sure. I think the price point on these are like, again, 15 to 20 bucks. But these are two good companies that you can um, look for in Etsy, especially haptic EDC. These guys are getting better. Um, but those are the 3D printing ones. If you're interested in fidgets, I would suggest start with these. Okay. Next, I guess let's take a look at the haptic coins. Um, I have more coming. I don't have a milk lid yet, but I know that the milk lid is like the gold standard for haptic coins. This is the closest I have to a milk lid. So I have Umbury. Um, this is actually Umbury and Mackie collaboration. This is Lottie and ACEDC. ACEDC is actually a really, sorry. ACEDC is actually a really great brand. Um, it actually is stands for Addictive Coins Everyday Carry. And then Lottie, um, we'll talk about later, but they they have a lot of um, they have a lot of good stuff. Okay. Um, so the haptic coins um, basically it's two sides of a coin brought together with usually these thrust bearings inside. And the whole point is there's like a give and take. So when you, when you use that motion right there, it causes the magnets to pull apart and then slap back together. Um, so this one is the um, Lottie and ACEDC collaboration. That means both companies got together on that. Um, this one, 
they only made like 150 but I really loved this one, so I paid a little extra, bought it secondhand. Um, this one is just Umbery. I know that ACEDC has the donut and the milk lid. Um, this is, stop. This is another um, Umbery. This is actually, stop. This is actually, um, it's got some patina on there. So. But it's the same kind of principle. And this one is an all things spinning bead, actually. Um, that's Ultim. I don't know why I got this, but I kind of like it. But I might end up selling it. Anyway, I'm not the expert on haptic coins, but um, I do know that the um, milk lid is supposed to be like the gold standard. Now, this which I'll talk about a little bit in a little bit. It's the Milkia. Um, so this actually has like the milk lid and then it also has a whole other part of it, but that is kind of like the sound you'll get from the milk lids. And I know the stainless steel ones were like 50 bucks. You can go to um, bigwhiteedc.com, use the code um, lefty10 and get 10% off the milk lids. I'm gonna put that in the... Um, in the comments there but from what i've been told um if you're gonna buy a haptic coin start with the milk lid from acedc okay so um the next thing i want to talk about is uh i guess we can talk about these well no i'm gonna no, i'm gonna save that to talk about over there with that okay um let's talk about spinners okay now again i am not an expert on spinners. The spinners that I have, as you can see, are kind of gimmicky. Um, but um, I actually have um, a, a friend actually sent me something to unbox, which I'm going to do in the next video. So those are supposed to be premium spinners. But if you're looking for gimmicky ones, and gimmicky ones means ones that aren't just spinners, like we have the, the Lottie... Um, dealer this is the full size one there's a mini one it's a desk one it's heavy so that means when i say desk the bottom doesn't spin it just sits on your on your desk and it spins like that um so then we also have this one which is the start button by acedc um you can actually push out the middle and turn it into a, a ring spinner um, this one is actually pretty decent. This one, um, is like 50 bucks on AliExpress, but again, gimmicky. It's a clicker. It's, it's got a haptic thing on there. And then it's a spinner. Um, so again, here's, this one's by Wan Wu. This is, uh, you can get this for like about 55 bucks. It's got some balls in there. It's also a clicker. From what I understand, when you're looking for spinners, you're looking for ones that don't have hot spots on there, which is gonna hurt your fingers. Um, this is actually from Magnus, it's called the Floop. He only made a few of them, so, but I included that because it's in my uh, collection. It's a, not a traditional spinner. We also have this. I think it's called the Fishbone or something by Black Mirror. Um, it's weird. I still don't know if I like it or not, but um, it's Zerk. I'm sure it's very expensive. Um, this I got from um, Kinetic Asian Pacific, Pacific. This is the Rose. It's in um, um, Ultim. And I've heard that the Rose is pretty pretty good. This one was like 140 um, but they make them in all different, um, materials. And I've heard that if you're looking for a good spinner, that, um, Kinetic Asian Pacific, um, which I'll put the link down below, the Horizon is really good. It's a nice heavy spinner. The heavier the spinner, I guess the, um, longer it spins. This I just got. Again, gimmicky. The reason why I get these gimmicky ones is because I'm not a spinner person. Um, and so I have to get a, a fidget... Um, that ha does a spinner that does more than just one thing because I don't have the attention span. But um, 
I really love this thing. This thing I got uh, 170. But again, if you're actually looking for a spinner, um, I've heard that uh, Kinetic Asian Pacific has good spinners. Um, and they always have stuff in stock. So, uh, all right. So those are the spinners. Um, let's, let, let me move this. Let's talk about track sliders, huh? My, I've got my cat in the way up here. Okay. So these are some of my favorite fidgets. Um, these all slide and all have tracks, obviously. Now, dif different ones have different types of tracks. Um, like, for instance, this War Shield. Um, now that I know how to open it up. It's got a peg down there. But um, you can add balls to this. The whole thing, these two are, actually, these three are all the same. You can add um, the, the little bearing balls to these. And, uh, and this one as well. And it just makes it an up and down motion. But I like the flip motion. Oop. So I take the balls out so I can do that motion. And the same thing right here. The Mahjong, um, oops, you have to hold it a certain way. The Mahjong has a clicker on the back. I specifically like the acrylic Mahjong because it pops. Um, and then the War Shield does the same thing. Now, the War Shield is pretty cheap. You can get it for like 60 bucks. These, they have limited edition ones. This one was ex expensive, like 200. But they have ones you can get on AliExpress for um, like, uh, I don't know, like in stainless steel for like 60 or $70, I think. Um, Yes, but I do want to say, and, and I have these to go over as well, but not that. Um, but the, um, as for track sliders, the gold standard is the soap by ACEDC. And I have one coming and it's a hundred bucks on um, big white EDC. And that one is, it's the best of the track sliders, but the, that one will only go up and down. It won't, it won't flip. So it doesn't matter if you take the balls out or whatever, it's never gonna do that flip motion like that, but it'll just go up and down. But it's got this poppy feel, and I'll explain to you what that, what that means. So to kind of piggyback on that, these, um, so these sliders, well, not this one, but, these sliders have these little balls in there. Let me show you. This one is Gauss Studio. Do you see the balls in there? These balls are pains in the asses because they are magnetic, I guess. But the whole thing, and, and the, um, the soap works the same way. Shit. Yeah, the soap, the soap works the same way. It's got a, a set of balls, but they, you can also get different kinds of balls that um, will slide differently. So, oh shit. The balls are a pain in the ass. Shit. But I wanted to show you guys how this works. Okay. Each ball has to be in its own separate. Okay, so this one's Gal Studios. So... This one also has that kind of jumpy. It works kind of like the soap, but if you're gonna get one that has those balls and slides like that, you wanna get the soap. I mean, if you see somebody selling this one on Facebook or whatever for like 30 or 40 bucks, yeah. But don't spend like 100 bucks on this little thing. It's, it's not worth it. It's not gonna do what you want. And this one right here is just a, a big version of this. It's the same exact thing. Um, see, works the same way, has the same kind of, uh, feel to it. And, um, so these, these buttons work, these buttons work, this one doesn't really. Um, I've seen this on Facebook and stuff for like 150 bucks. If you're only going to get one fidget, this would not be the one that you want to get. You're better off with the soap. 
uh, for a hundred bucks. I mean, it's cool looking. Again, you know, if you see this for a good deal, like 80, 90 bucks, yeah. But um, it's not gonna do what you want it to do if this is the only fidget that you have. Um, so this works similar to those. This act this has um, the balls too, but you gotta you gotta make sure they're in their respective quadrants. See, so. What the heck? I lost a, I lost a magnet. No. These things, man. Um, I don't know how much this thing costs, but it, it's probably shit around the same as the um as those other ones. Shit. Somebody told me today that I needed a pry bar. Now would have been a good time to do that pry bar. Shit, I could I can't use I don't even have my knife with me. Damn it. I wanted to show you how this works. Yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. Yo. Okay, I'm back. I fixed it. I found a different knife to use. Okay. So This works pretty much the same as these. Again, Cool, feels good, not worth a hundred dollars, you know, it's just not. But again, if you see somebody selling it for maybe like 50 bucks, I'd say, okay, cool. Um, so this is, I, this is the chocolate. Now, I, I haven't spent a lot of time with it. I guess you have to move these along the tracks. I'm trying to see if this thing will get better, but this thing is insanely expensive and it doesn't do what you want it to do. It's constantly coming off the tracks. It feels hollow inside. I mean, it looks nice, but that's about it. So no, I would not recommend this thing, but I'm just trying to see if maybe I can like it. Um, I'm gonna save that one for last. So this one is the XXL Cosmo by 42 Nebula or something. Um, this is the Cosmo XXL. Um, so they are selling the the Cosmo X right now at fidgethouse.com and I'll put the um I'll put the link on that. This thing was expensive. Now, I, I consider this thing kind of like a niche I like these kinds of track sliders that move around like this. And I, I you know me, if you've watched my other videos, I, uh, I, I really like the three tier ones. Um, but this thing was very expensive. And if you're, if you don't have experience with these kinds, I would not recommend this for like a first kind of fidget. So you see these a lot. Um, these are the Lottie shuffles. They actually, ha this is actually the version two. I like it because it's got the the bronze and the copper, so it should patina nice. And it's got two um, layers of two tracks of magnets. Uh, from the last time that I uh, reviewed this, well, I didn't really review it. I just did an unboxing. If you tighten this, then you get that clicking motion, so it does work. So. Um, again, this one is kind of like a, a niche thing. It's not going to work like a regular slider. It's a little awkward, um, but it's cool looking. I mean, I would say it's the same as the other Lottie. You know, it's nice. It's cool looking. You can have it on your desk. and. But as for practicality, I don't think it's there. If you're only going to get one slider, it wouldn't be this one. Um, it would be one of these. Uh, I would actually recommend the pig slider if you're only going to get one. Hear those popping? Uh, it's easier to use than this guy. This only goes up one, down one, but it does have a cool clicker on the back. This one's cool, but um, uh, it gets a little gummy. Like, it kind of feels like a drag almost when you're sliding it around. So if you only want to get, uh, if you're only going to get one slider, I would say the pig slider. You can find them on AliExpress. So 
All right, that's that. Um, it's so funny that all of these are Mackies, um, but these are all the three tier sliders. They made the CP2, the CP3, um, the CP3 Nano, and then the CP5. Now they're all, they all work differently. Um, this one has a track on the bottom here. So there's no magnets. And then on the top is the magnets. Magnet tracks. So you have two different types of sound. Though a lot of people complain because it's a little bit big. So um, CP2 or CP3 is a lot smaller. All magnets all comes apart. I have the sliding tape on there. Very, very um, satisfying. Also, there's a trick. Is it this way? Where is it? Oh, here. You can turn it into a clicker by turning the one part around. Kinda. It's kinda. This one is one of the most popular ones. This one is just a mini version of that, um, but I wanted the whole Mackie family. Works the same, um, it's just a lot smaller. And then this was the CP5. This is only the track slider. There's no magnets. I like it a lot. So I would recommend one of these two if that's the only Mackie you go for. But really, um, I mean, it's kind of apples and oranges. This one is a track. This one is magnets. It's got different sounds, you hear it? But if you're only get if you're only gonna get one, I'd probably recommend um, the CP3. This guy. But he's a close second to CP5. Alright. So I got rid of um I, I, I traded out a couple of these. Um but I kept the X-Lock. And then um this one is kind of similar. Um but I guess this is how you play with them. I had the um uh, what is it? The cannon and the laser. So you're supposed to use it like this. So now having have had those other ones, if you want something like this, like the laser or the, the concussion cannon, uh, I know I'm going to get some heat by, from my other uh, fidget friends, but I would recommend the X-Lock because it's smaller, but I have smaller hands. I don't know if a man is gonna like that better or not. I just, I couldn't get my hands around the other ones. So I actually like the X-Lock. This guy right here is, what, MT-01? I don't even know. It's not really worth anything. Don't get it. It's, it's not worth anything. But if, you're, if you really wanna get something of this design, um, I would recommend this one, although I have friends who swear and die by the concussive cannon. But again, you might need to have bigger hands. So um, let's let's talk about um, these miscellaneous ones here. So um, this is the um, trio by Magnus. This is definitely recommended. These are um, little buttons that you can pop out. Oh shoot. It's highly customizable. Um, you can put different buttons in there. It's got really good haptic feedback. And it feels kind of worry stone. Um, this thing I love. It's actually on sale right now. Well, they're, they're making all kinds of different um, designs and um, materials of this one. Um, but uh, if you listen to that. Uh, I think it's A++ on, fit, on Facebook, but I'm going to put a link in there. Sorry, guys. Oh, this video is long. Anyway, I highly, highly, highly recommend this thing. It's not too expensive, and it comes in all different materials. These are from Fidget Digits. Uh, I actually have to do an updated version. The bottom part right here is magnetic. It's pretty cool. Uh, this guy's actually um, coming out with some new stuff 
one of my um, qualms about this was um, the magnets weren't too strong, but he's updating them. Um, and then this thing, oh, he's also creating a pod for these, which is cool. Um, and these things right here are just awesome. But I would say um, if I were to only get one of these miscellaneous, I would get this guy. It's cheap, small, and very satisfying. Okay, so now let's talk about um, these kind of multi-fidgets. Um, so each one of these things does more than one thing. Um, so a lot of people hate the owl. I don't hate the owl. It's a slider. It also has, oh shit, it also has a spinner. Would I recommend this as your only multi-fidget? No. That's only if you have a big collection. It's pretty decent, but um, no. Um, this thing I'm still trying to get the hang of. It doesn't really work too well. This is the hub. I don't even know who makes it. I would not recommend this. Um, the rampart. This one's cool. It's got a slider up here. Um, these parts come out. I would not recommend this as your only fidget of a multi fidget. But if you see it in a group or whatever and it's cheap, it's decent. Okay. So um, these are really, really good. Um, this is one of those track sliders with the balls. It also has um, a spinner thing here. It's by TKEDC. It also has a clicker in the back. I really like it a lot, it's the Dharma. If this was, I wouldn't recommend this as your only one though because it's finicky. It could, it's not built very well and it could fall apart. So then we have um, the M camera by Wan Wu. So it's got a little clicker here, got a little clicker here. Then it's got a slider. Pretty cool. This is the Milkia. Now it's hard for me to recommend this because it's expensive as fuck, but I found it in bronze. I think it was like 280 or something. This has like the milk lid haptic coin, but it also slides around and goes up and down. I would recommend either one of these as a multi-fidget if they were the only ones that you have. Okay. Now I want to talk about free floating sliders. So these are curved free floating ones. Um, these, th these are the armor sliders by Wan Wu, and this is the uh, Titan. I only would recommend the Titan one um, after you remove those little parts. Um, I would not recommend these overall unless you have a big collection. Um, because they're not very easy to use. So if you're only going to get one slider, I would not recommend these. But if you have a bigger collection, um, I really like the Titan a lot. Okay. Flat free-floating ones. Now, this guy, uh, Alex McGee, who makes the Black Dog Lab sliders, he's sending me an updated one. Um, these are super, super heavy, um, and so I'm going to re-review them, but they're not very user-friendly, like, it's really heavy, hard to hold in your pocket, um, so I wouldn't recommend this as your only free-floating fidget. Um, so let's talk about, um, Magnus real quick. Um, so I actually... I'm actually giving my turtle to somebody else, but uh, for the smaller ones, um, I really, really, really like the turtle. Not the turtle, I'm sorry. The toad. Um, hold on. Okay, sorry again. Okay, so I would recommend the toad. Um, now, this is actually the Toad X. I would recommend the Teflon plates, but again, you know... It's subjective. Everybody has their own pre preferences. This is a the Zerk sandwich you can get with it. These are add-ons. 
I really like the three tier, so. But yeah, uh, I want to get the uh, toad um, in the three click, or I want to get it with the Teflon. I only had it with the brass, and I'm not a big fan of the brass. Um, but this one is actually the uh, rocker, and I thought I would hate it, but it's actually pretty decent. You can still do laddering with it. Isn't it cool? <laughs> and then it clicks. Um, but for the smaller magnets, I would recommend the Toad with Teflon. But again, I wouldn't recommend it as my only free floating. Um... Now this one right here is actually an old design. It's the Ridge. It, uh, it has brass plates, but it feels real good. You can't find these anymore, so I can't recommend them. Here's the Robo. It's a current design with Teflon. I would highly recommend this one. It's very user friendly. The Teflon um, makes it um, not so hard to push, but I wouldn't recommend any of these as my only one if this was the only free floating one that I had. So um, I really love this Cosmo one. One of the reasons why I really love this one, well actually all of these, is that it's impossible to pinch your fingers if any of you guys have ever um, played with any of these free floating sliders, you'll know that you can pinch your fingers real easy and it sucks. So none of these, these, I don't know how, but they're designed that you, you, you don't pinch your fingers with these. Now this guy is a little thicker and it's got a weird noise. I love it, but I wouldn't recommend this as my only slider. This one, these are both the Modus Work wraps. Um, the he's, uh, Jonas is currently making the SGS, which is this. This he doesn't make anymore. But um, they're both similar. Can't recommend that because he's not making it anymore. But this one right here, he is. They have, uh, you can customize the inserts, like uh, how strong you want the magnets. But if you were to only have one free-floating uh, slider, I would recommend the SGS by Modus Works. All you got to do is DM the dude, and he'll make it for you. Um, and the price point's not that bad. I think it's like two forty. I, I know that that's bad. So a budget free-floating design. I mean, this guy is not as expensive. I would say, I would say if, if you're on a budget, the Toad is 167 right now in Teflon, but if that's too expensive, um, maybe one of these. Um, this one's pretty cool, this 3D printed, 15 bucks. Um, so the ones that I have recommended show you out of each category um, though I wouldn't recommend this I want I want to recommend the milk lid which is closer to this for um, a half a coin so free folding slider um, and then this one is uh, miscellaneous these are the multi fidgets. Um, these are those piston looking things, um, curved edged free floating track slider spinner. So, whew, I'm really tired now. I hope this was helpful. If you wouldn't mind, um, hit the like and subscribe. Have a great day, guys.